Welcome back to Trawley's Guitars. We have a, another really cool signature guitar here today. If you haven't checked out the Brendan Small Snow Falcon yet, you can go and check this one out. But this one's even cooler in my opinion. The Buckethead Les Paul. Now this is the cheaper version of this one. <laughs> if you can imagine that, I mean the, the full one with binding and the ebony fretboard is about, you know, four to five thousand dollars now. Whereas the studio model is about half that price. And the only thing that's different for this one is it doesn't have the binding and it doesn't have an ebony fretboard. That's pretty well the main things that are different. However, I really love the rosewood on this one because it has this really cool wood grain, as you can see. So if you're kind of a little bit scared that, oh no, I don't have fret markers anymore, you can actually kind of learn it by the wood grain here. And you also have the, obviously these side buttons to help you along. But yeah, this is a really cool Les Paul. Another thing that's different about this one is a normal Gibson, I believe is 24 inches scale neck. This one's actually 27. And the body's actually a little bit larger as well. I will demonstrate that here in a little bit. But for now, let's take a look at the condition of this one. It has been played a little bit. But as you can see, it still has the coil tap ring on it. So it was taken very good care of. So let's take a look at this guitar real quick. There's not too much to really note on it. There might be a little bit of fuzz here and there. But overall, it's clean and stock. The frets don't really have any wear that I see. And obviously, it plays very well. Let me get down to the body here since we've already looked at the fretboard. There's not much to really say about the condition of this one. It is very clean. It's kind of more of a satin finish to it. So if you like the feel of a satin finished guitar, you'll really like the feel of like the back of the neck on this one. I know I prefer satin over gloss. However, I guess gloss is, you know, an upcharge these days. I'm assuming the higher end one would have the gloss, but I'm not 100% sure. Not too much to really note on this one. I know there's a little little indentation here on the back, but that's about it unless you're getting super nitpicky and getting out your magnifying glass. So you don't really have too much to worry about condition-wise. It's just about a brand new guitar. But it does have the all too common white guitar little oopsies is the finish can sometimes be a little bit too light and you can see where it kind of cracks. That's just in the finish where the fretboard joins. It's not so bad on that side. It's this side where it's a little bit more visible. But as you can see it's just where the finish is kind of worn away a little bit because of where the finish is. There we go. Absolutely nothing to worry about. It's perfectly fine. It's not structural. It's purely cosmetic. It's got a little bit of dirt here. You could easily rub that off with your nail. I haven't done it yet because I didn't want to scratch it. Made in 2011, serial number 12431048. Now, if you're not familiar with this model, it has two kill switches. And basically, when you strum, when it's plugged in and you push that down, it stops the signal. Now, what that does for you is it can kind of give you a really cool sound. It's kind of hard to explain, but 
Now, if you're looking at a Buckethead signature Les Paul, hopefully you're familiar with his music. I think the easiest song that he to mention that he uses it on is a uh, Jordan. Yeah, that's the song. Now, to demonstrate the the uh, different size of this Les Paul, like if you're a bigger guy or gal, this is actually a good guitar for you because it is actually larger. Here we have a 76 Les Paul Deluxe. This is also for sale. But to demonstrate the size difference here, let's line them up side by side. You can see that the uh, bucket head's a little bit larger in the body, but you know, that three inches longer in the neck. It's definitely very noticeable, but you know, I actually find it very comfortable with the larger Les Paul, but I'm a taller guy myself. As always, you can visit my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Troglies, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. That is where you can find the best price available on this guitar. Basically, if you found this listing via Reverb or eBay, I cut out the, e the Reverb and or eBay fee so we can get a direct price to you. If you have any questions, feel free to message me there.